This is the 20th anniversary of the Ellis Park disaster. People had gathered at Ellis Park to come and witness what was a beautiful game of football. It was a derby game, uh, Orlando Pirates versus Kezo Chiefs. The game was supposed to kick start at 8, and the game was delayed because there was still a lot of people outside the stadium. We saw the stadium was full, and it was amazing to see people come in numbers. Eventually, after 30 minutes, the game uh, you know, kick-started, we, we played. And once the game started, I could see there was some commotion taking place in one part of the stadium in the corner there. I remember seeing Dr. Robertson, I think who was the, the PSL CEO, running inside the field while the game was still on because we were in attack. And when I saw him, you know, running towards the field, then. I could see that something was not right. People that they were outside, they were trying also to get in and try to force themselves. And by doing that, they end up pushing and uh, try others when they fall down, step each other, step on each other as they're trying to get inside. Which ultimately resulted in the stoppage of the game as security and everybody was called upon to come attend to the situation there. That's when we saw a lot of people now uh, behind the goalpost. And that time we thought maybe those people were maybe just fainted, you know. We just heard the news from authority that uh, uh, there's some people that they were injured as they're trying to get in inside the stadium. And the game has to stop. It is very sad that beautiful day turned out to be a very, very sad day for some of the families because there were many people who died and there were people who got injured. The player, obviously, it was a, a, a very, very disturbing you know, situation and very touchy at the same time because now you're thinking about some of your siblings that also wanted to come and give you the support as a player to did they manage to get inside the stadium and also watch the game? So we don't know what's going on. I remember the situation like, like it happened yesterday. Sad and shock to all of us. And uh, as we went there to entertain people and uh, enjoy ourselves and uh, to them also to enjoy by watching us and uh, to hear that uh, some people lost their life. This was a very dark day for South African football. The lessons learned from that game have actually accelerated us into ensuring that the lives of the people must be prioritized when we have such big events. So I stand here on behalf of Kaiser Chiefs and Soccer Fraternity to say that this day will remain a, a very, very important day in our lives. We pray for those who have died in this terrible way. We pray for the families and friends who have witnessed this tragedy.